Hi guys, this is Doggy Box and welcome to Dark Souls. Instead of Minecraft, I'm going to be doing some Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition. If you hear any background noises, that will be my friend playing his game. But let's get started. So, the tutorial usually takes between 15 and 20 minutes, so that I think that's a good size for a video. So I'll get into it right now. Okay. Character name. We'll call him Doggy Box. And gender. Male, of course. Class. We'll go knight. Gift. I think we'll go the tiny being's ring. Physique. Slim. Looks good. Face. A commoner. Hair can be wild. And I think we'll have dark brown hair. So, now that I've got my character, let's get started. There's going to be a cutscene, so I'll just wait until that's finished before I start talking again. So, enjoy. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. First of the day. The Witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords pulled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. So guys, that was just pretty much the opening cinematic. There's a bit more talking, but 
nothing too important. So you basically we start off in a cell and we get a gift from the skies. You'll soon see what that is. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Yes, this is our character, just sitting in the corner. And the gift will be here shortly. So, this body holds, holds the key to my cell, so now I can escape. So, these guys right here, they're passive, so you don't have to take them out, but you can if you want. That is a boss for later on in the game. We're going to take out his brother shortly. But he's a tough one and we'll have to fight him later. But anyway, I'll get on with the game. bonfire. So the bonfire acts as a checkpoint, uh, a save and a place to regenerate your health. So to regenerate your health you just rest at the bonfire. Okay. So we'll meet our enemy quite soon. Oops, wrong button. Open the door, don't hit it. So, you'll see him soon, but I've got to get running because we don't want to be around when he appears. You can hear him now, and there he is, the asylum demon. Okay, we're safe in here for now. Right now we don't have the weapons to deal with that guy. So, let's go deeper. Got another bonfire here, so... So you don't have to rest at them, you can just light the bonfires and that acts as your checkpoint. Here, we have an archer who will attempt to fire arrows at us. But I've gotten used to him by now and I can dodge him. And here we go, you just duck in here and you can get your shield. So, let's see. Menu. Now, we can equip it. So, when we go to face this guy, he can't hurt us. There we go. And right here, we have a sword. Because at the moment I only have a broken hilt, which isn't too effective. Okay. Now we've got all our gear to take out that big monster we saw. So we just need to make our way back. There is one more thing we need to collect first. Ok, 
Okay. from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords when thou ringeth the bell of awakening the fate of the undead thou shalt know well now you know and I can die with hope in my heart oh one more thing here take this an Esther's flask an undead favorite oh and this now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. No, thank you. Okay, so we've got our healing items now. Our Estus flasks. So, go up here. Take this guy on. So, now they start to attack. So you've got to be careful now. That guy also gave us the key to open this door. Come on, bring it. Oh, there we go. I got it first. There we go. Okay, have enemy down. You're next. Oh, got an archer back there. Got him. Got him. And run away. Start blocking these arrows. Oh, that was an awful shot, mister. Okay. So, beyond there is our first boss. The thing we encountered and had to run away from. But first I just want to stop off here for some experience. That this guy will give us. Drink some exercise. No, you are not doing that. Ow. Oh, got a hit on me. It's not good. Oh well, we have to go in and fight the boss. So if you if you're falling above an enemy and you press attack, you do this drop attack. It's really effective against bosses. So, that took out a lot of health. Come here. Come on, bring it. Ow, ow. No. I need to use my potion. Come on. Oh, I'm getting some lag here. Not good. Okay, he's gonna back up. Now I'm gonna back up. They're coming for an attack. Oh, that's not good. It's flying. Oh, 
unresponsive sometimes. Okay, we're gonna do this. It's just gonna be a bit painful. Okay, definitely got this. So, I just need to get in one more time. One more attack to finish him off. Oh! Oh, get up, get up and use your potion. Get up now. Okay, get up. Just one more hit. There we go. What? No. Okay, one more hit after this. There we go. That was actually pretty close. Could have probably done better, but I got a bit cocky near the end. Almost cost me the fight. But... That's about it for the tutorial. So, I'll just finish it off and end the video. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, please like, and if you want to see more from me, it would be nice if you could subscribe. And here we go. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordra. Like I said before, thanks so much for watching. Um, so yeah, like if you liked, and if you want to see more, subscribe. I've also got some friends who are starting off a YouTube channel. Uh, the channel is called Eaters of Pies, so I'd appreciate it if you would check it out. Maybe you can watch some of their videos and even subscribe if you like it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and. A new episode on this will be coming out shortly. Okay, bye.